A fire in the Finca Solana area of Corozal Town on Tuesday evening completely gutted four of the establishment's palapas, as well as the roof and the interior of the main concrete structure. Owner of the popular business, Ephraim Phillips, told News 5 he learned of the fire from neighbors. Approximately around 5.15 yesterday evening, I got a call from the neighbors. I was at the mechanic telling me that my establishment was on, on fire. I, I, I hurried over. By the time I got there, the fire department was already here trying to, 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 to out the flames. But um, it was already the, the, touch, the touch part of the, of the business was already, the main touch area was already on, on fire. They couldn't do much to save anything. Fire officials have relayed to police that the blaze started from faulty wiring inside the main concrete building. The fire happened on the eve of a big private event for which it was engaged. That event has been postponed. The business was not insured, but Phillips is thankful that no one and none of his pets were injured. And the outpouring of support he has received since the blaze has kept him positive. Thank God I, have, I had eight employees and they're all here today. Everybody is here um, helping me. I have tremendous help from, the, from my friends and my neighbors. So we are already started a cleanup campaign. And everybody is pushing me to don't give up. The place wasn't insured, but I'm the credit union I had with them, so they are, they are willing to help me out too. So. The recently retired customs officer said even though he's down, he's not out. The business will continue to operate, albeit on a significantly scaled down level, until he can rebuild. We have an event tomorrow scheduled and the people having the schedule, they still want to come. They, we have another part of the, of the compound that we're going to use and we're going to try. Thank God one of my kitchens won't, wasn't burned down and um, I can still function from that area. So I plan to, to, to continue. Altogether, the losses amount to between seventy dollars and $100,000. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.